after a tiny but noticeable role in the early phases of the European electric car industry. With the popular i3, BMW has a busy few years of zero emission releases planned. The BMW Group is aiming for 50% of total sales to be electric only by 2030, from a not quite standing start. The car's structural foundation is a new specialized electric vehicle platform that will be used by other BMW Group cars. It has an aluminum space frame style construction with varied carbon fiber reinforced plastic paneling, some of which is visible when the frameless doors and wraparound boot lid are opened. When you open the frameless driver's door on the nine, you're welcomed by an interior that's noticeably less risque than the cars outside, but also a touch more regular. The spacious front seats, with their integral style head restraints, place you high and bent legged at the controls, with good forward view, albeit less so over your shoulder and to the back. the fascia in front of you, as well as the panels and consoles on either side, aren't particularly ornate or spectacular in appearance. This isn't a luxury car, interior designed to impress you with chrome and touchscreen technology strewn across every possible surface. It has modestly sized features and enticingly expensive materials and finishes, but it's also understated and well-balanced. Nothing screams for your attention it's sophisticated, inviting, and relaxing. The iX's drive selector lever has a cut glass finish, but it's small and finicky, and it's difficult to detect without taking your eyes off the road. It doesn't evoke a strong sense of tactile connection with the vehicle, and although other EV manufacturers provide column-mounted paddles for adjusting electric motor regeneration settings, BMW refuses to do so. The car's Reagan settings can be adjusted through the touchscreen display, but there's minimal manual contact with an electric engine. It does, however, have plenty of oomph. Let's continue the comparison with the diesel Bentega from earlier to see how 2022's concept of a forward-thinking luxury SUV stacks up versus 2017's. The 9 accelerates from a standstill with grace and efficiency, and it does so quickly for a vehicle of its size.
it accelerates to 60 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds and 100 miles per hour in 10.0 seconds at full throttle covering the 30 to 70 miles per hour roll-on benchmark in just 3.4 seconds in the first case the triple turbo bentega with 100 pounds of more torque took over a second longer over 2.5 seconds longer in the second and 4.6 seconds longer in the third.